Hey, everybody. I wanted to wait till the ad ended. But, uh, yeah. Um, hi. I know I haven't streamed in a while. Life has been kicking my ass, to be, <laughs> to be blunt. Um, but, yeah, we're here. I, um, I don't have the camera turned on, because I'm not. That that's part of the reason why I haven't been streaming because I've I've been more hating my appearance more than usual. Um, I'm I've I want to get uh, a PNG tuber, you know the little the little. It, it's not the 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 full VTuber, the 3D model and everything. I'd love to get one of those, but I don't can't afford it, and I don't know. I don't know how well my system would handle it. And everything like that. So, um, <clears throat> try. Um, yeah, no, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm mostly just kind of doing a test. Right now, really, to uh, to kind of see just how well this performs. Um, I'd originally stopped doing single PC streams because my computer wasn't like OBS was was stomping all over the game and it was making it unplayable and unwatchable. So, and I I I've changed a few things. I turned the camera off and I switched to using Stream Elements and um, stuff like that. So. I want to see whether or not it works any better. So, um, I guess we'll just go do something. I got a lot to do, to be honest. <laughs> okay, my drones are not... Yeah, like, we can always, we can open void fissures, although there's nothing good up. Although I guess hives are technically endless. Survivals, but they're not... I need lith moment um i have a list somewhere capture archwing missions oh there's invasions that's right i saw there's a couple of them that are good not really let's go do a syndicate do an extra Exterminate missions are always fun. I'm in. Murder everyone. Leave. <laughs> Should do some ISO vaults too. To be honest, I need to do uh Actually what I need to do is I need to go fishing on Venus. That's what I need to do, so I can or, and and figure out where the damn um. I'm detecting What's up, bud? Um, you know. figure out where the damn. I can't brain. My brain is not firing today. Where the the races, the K drive race? Let's let's die. K drive race. That's what I need to figure out. Because I I got to figure out where they are. But I can do the one and get the 2k points that I need to be able to do. I want. What warframes? I want to get your Ellie. I'm still detecting a lot of infestation activity. Let's clean it up. Can it from here? I can, but I already have it. <laughs> wrong way. The wrong way. Um, yeah, I want to get Yorelli, and I need the blueprint to be able to get her. And the only way to get the blueprint is by completing the Wave Rider quest, and the Wave Rider quest, 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 is obnoxious.
Why are you guys here? I thought this was an infested. There's both Grenier and... Oh, that's weird. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. I am also looking at medallions. They do actually show up on the minimap. Be able to see. Yeah, you can see. Fucking hell. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. That's a bit easier. Go back. Yeah. See? Uh -huh. Oh, cool. That's yeah. They changed that, so now it, it actually shows you who picked up the medallion. I think it does that for um, void plumes. It does that for void plumes. Uh, Barman, too. Nice. I mean, it doesn't matter, strictly speaking. Like right here, app. I don't. Else, the medallion app. Hiding under the water. Okay. This way. Get in the helm cord. There we go. Well, yeah, it doesn't seem to mind, at least right now. I'm also, I mean, technically I'm in a public lobby, but nobody else is. All right, well, let's go use the elevator. Elevators make me un, un razor wing. They're also slow. How am I supposed to death pixie? Ow. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit it, now you warn me, thanks. How am I supposed to death pixie if I can't pixie? Wait. Yeah. Oh, the, the razor flies kill something. Oops. They do that, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Saves the energy. What is that marker? Oh, I think it's the 
that are following me. Okay, well that pushed, but it didn't open anything. Poor guys over here getting murdered by the razor flies. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The um, the map is showing that there's like a gajillion things over here, but I do not see. Ah. Found him. I found him, I'm just dumb. Okay, now we can keep. The enemy is broken. Well done. <laughs> now get him. The, the razor flies will just kill stuff. Especially when um, <clears throat> enemies are this low level. A little overpowered here, Fox. <clears throat> choice put them up on the roof <clears throat> my throat's all gummed up this morning everything because I can Oh, there's more over there. Red. Crap there. Up on one of these plates, the that guy will come alive. I see how you get in there either. Ow. Radiation. Rude.
That's above. There. Okay, that's the exit. This is where we came. That is. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Ah. Ooh. Car. Is a challenge room. Ah, uh, it is. Let's see if it works. Oh god, this is an easy one. And there's a medallion in here, too. Doot. Turn the death orb on. Yeah, I love doing the the challenge rooms with Razor Wing because it's like don't pay attention. You just kind of ignore them. I can do most of these the middle way. But why bother? Why? Yes. Um. Frame fighter here. here. Probably have this one already. I have most of these. Yeah. I believe there's a medazine. That might. There's still a few more um, medallions to find, though. Like, I won't get focused far from it. 
not really killing stuff. We're just searching. We have plenty of spores. That's oh, I got whole twelve focus. Oh boy. One, be two more. Now it hasn't been happening anymore, but previously I've had really good luck finding Italian sculptures underneath the staircase in this room. I don't know why. But it's just, it seemed like they just really liked to spawn under that staircase for a while. Eh, whatever. Not gonna fuss about it. Mostly want to do the night wave. <clears throat> Nightwave stuff, anyway, is what we're really going after. Okay, um... Or my foundry done. Done. Ah, okay. I'm Jessie. Do not have the rest of her, and unfortunately she's vaulted. Get the rest is if we get really lucky. We gotta do more syndicate missions. So, for Nightwave, so let's keep doing them. Uh, defense mission. Defense, it should be easy, actually. Collecting the medallions, because they should all just be... But now we wait. I missed it having a, a Kubro, but it doesn't really work for Titania because when you're in Razor Wing, it. it uh, it unsummons your your companion, which is why I have Helios. The nice thing is, is that it still lets you use the mods that are on your companion. Like my Helios has like loot detector and stuff on there.
problem is I think if everybody's if they've grabbed the medallions already, I don't think I'll get them. Why not? Whatever. This is not like I'm like really here for. Uh, I'm not really here for the medallions. I'm mostly just here for the night wave. Because I want the Umbra that's uh, at the top of this night wave session. A lag, and I don't know if that was caused by the stream or if that was caused just because it does that sometimes. Is a little rough right now. Quick. I hate when it does. I hate when I do that. App shift instead of hold it. I'm getting thrown forward. I really hate when you get people playing Volt and they just spam the the fucking speed boost that Volt has. Oh my god, I get slammed into walls so much. It doesn't look quite as pretty, but this it's stable, which is what I want. I want my frame rate to be stable. I don't really care so much about uh about uh you know, having a hundred and 120 FPS. I can deal with I can deal with 13 FPS as long as it's steady. Single digit FPS, I can deal with it as long as it's steady. What frame are you using? I don't know who that is either, because they're, uh, I think they're in their, I think they're an operator right now. Is that two mags? Nidus. That's probably the Nidus then. Oh, I gotta go talk to Ticker, too. Let me forget about that. I got my command intrinsic up to 10. And I have been trying to get the... Uh, <clears throat> I've been trying to get the... Uh, the what do you call them? Elite crew members? Um, but you gotta you gotta wait because it cycles through, and you gotta wait until you get one that's that actually matches what you're using on your ship. Because I'm using Zeki turrets, so I need 
crew members that have Zeki crit bonuses. Because if I get the ones that have the uh, the other ones, it doesn't do anything. Picker should have reset their. Uh, they should have reset their inventory by now. Great right, old bastard. Yes, yeah, you know, this mission is just grenades. What was going on? The other one. Yeah, I'm getting so much focus. Oh, worthless. Do some Sanctuary Onslaught and we can get some good focus. Get like 1,500, 15,000. Like 15,000 a run. That's, that's the way to do it. Actually might have enough to update, upgrade. Let me go check once we... Once we load out of here, we can go look. <coughs> oh, don't try to inhale your own spit. It doesn't work. No, we need 600. Okay. I've also got to go hunt the Eidolon, because I need more Brilliant Shards to be able to unbind that. But, like, we've got most of them. Like, I've only got these three that I haven't, that I, that I still need to unbind. And then, of course, you know, the Zenruk itself, which I find useful. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get better at using Temporal Drag and... Anyway. I want this one. Oh, 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 oh. You just you get knocked down. You go to your operator and you kill three enemies and you get back up. And you're fine. Like, yes. Yes, please. Anyway. Always a plan. Or. Four more. Alright. Um Yeah, let's do that spy mission. That should be enough. Frames. Don't want to do this one. We don't want to do this one in a group. Because the way I do spy missions differently than how a lot of other people do them. And it's a corpus spy, so it should be good. The Grenier ones I have difficulty with, but the corpus one. Oh, that's right. You fuckers are gonna follow me around. Can I tell you to yeah, here. No. No, stay. Yeah, you guys just stay here. Like I said, I do spy missions differently than I think a lot of other people do them. Which actually makes um I've done I've done some spy missions on the steel path and it's just like so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> than the regular, than the non-spy missions on the steel path, because I don't kill anything. And the chain, and the steel path changes don't change anything. Like, they don't change the puzzles, they don't change the room layouts. So it's just, it's like... Are you just, like, taking a dump right there? He's just pooping in his suit. We 
but yeah, it's just like it's steel path missions are just so much easier when you're <laughs> doing the spy missions. So, of course, the the downside is is that you don't get like anything. You don't get the rewards. You don't get any steel essence. You don't nothing. So there's no reason to do spy missions on steel path unless you're, um, you know, just uh, other than to just unlock the node. Well, we're going to go to C. Alright, well, you're going to stay in there. Where the fuck? Oh. I'm not going to kill everybody around here just to try to free the guy. Even though I do need the Solaris United standing. Not really worth it. Oh, right here. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now and they will start destroying the data. I really love how like nobody around here blinks about like doors opening and elevators moving when <laughs> there's nobody on them. Oh, there's a cephalon frog. And we got really lucky with that path. The medallion. Are we finding Grenier codex entries on a corpus? That's weird. Yes, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, my plan though, my plan for this though is I'm gonna grab what medallions that I, that I come across, like that one right there, because it was just right there. But we're not gonna search over the whole map to try to find them because I don't really care. Um, like I said, we're doing this for the night wave, not for the. Setting's nice though, and there's there's stuff that I need to get. Losing it. Worry about it too much. Thank you for the energy. Gross out today. I don't like it. Overcast and I think it's raining again. Yeah, see, like, this guy right here, like, I'm about to open this door, and he's not gonna... Nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, ...doesn't react. We'll start destroying data. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. <laughs> AK. Yeah, Murder Pixie, though, not currently. Right now we are being sneaky, steely pixie. Playing Avara. Yeah. Yep, this is Avara. And I can just do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get the syndicate um uh nightwave. Stay away from you. We're like, what the fuck is going on? Why are doors opening on their own? Crates are just popping open. <laughs> 
is always funny too. You bump into them and they're like, what the fuck? medallion in there purpose most tech reliant group having a major faulty wiring issue day <laughs> yeah yeah it, it definitely doesn't have anything to do with the tenno that's still sneaking around their base yeah these ciphers are ridiculously dumb today I was gonna shoot him, but I don't think I would be able to one shot him and then he make him mad. Yeah, I find the Corpus spy missions to be a lot easier. Can't you just have spell stealth meleeed? I don't know that that kills them when they have their overshields. It might. We can find out. Where's the guy at? Oh, it does kill him. Cool. I didn't know that. These guys, I know it well. Yeah. Learn something new. You're, um, you're standing in a convergence orb. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't stand there if I were you. Why you guys are orbiting each other, but I don't want to get near the nullifier. Yeah, the the low level, the lowest level Grenier spy missions are easy because you can just do them the same way as you're doing this, and the highest level Grenier spy missions are easy. It's the mid level ones where they get difficult because they have those arc traps that'll drain your energy. I'd let you out, bud, but I'd have to kill like everybody on the level. Found one medallion. I haven't really been looking for them though. What is with all the nullifiers? He is establishing dominance by A-posing. <laughs> no clue you're even there. Well, except that they the friendlies can still like sense you because he was still talking to you. But yeah, realistically he wouldn't know I was even there. I don't have, I think I have a loot detector on. Look at these guys just A-posing. Oh, you're like supposed to be working on a computer console or something. Is these fingers moving? <laughs> this guy over here. <laughs> Imaginary computer. To be honest, to, to be fair, it could just be in their helmets. Right, like that could be the display with the with the finger with the haptic stuff and the fingers. <clears throat> yeah, that's how I do spy missions.
It takes a little while, but it's so much easier. Ooh, the sortie's up. Purpose, mobile defense, survival, and assassination. And enemy elemental enhancements, augmented shields, secondary only. Go through bullet jumping when I can and screaming at anyone that steps in my way. Yeah, if you just go fast, that works too most of the time. Oh, look, they all reset. <laughs> We just hit the hit the reset for that stuff. How are we doing in here? Okay. Ah. Makes me so happy. Murder everyone, you're still successfully stealthy. Yeah, as my brother likes to say. If there's, if no one can notice, if there's no one to notice. <laughs> Everybody's dead. And nobody saw anything. Alright, we're gonna do this sortie. And I say, let the void Shut up. Sounds like Metal Gear logic. It's specifically, he was referring to Assassin's Creed games. Okay, somebody grabbed it. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I grate into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Heavy resistance. They should turn their gravity down. Uh. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This Jesus Christ, shit. Oh, that's where it is. Go to Razor Wing, you only look small on other screens. Yeah, the camera like zooms in on you. I mean you're still you're still smaller. I was like that's the, you know, normal. Versus the razor wing. Still working on it. Continue to Christ. Spoiled ham is not loaded yet. <laughs> Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. We've got robots inbound. It, it's corpus. That's literally what they send at us. Robots and dinguses. We have got to find a terminal. Proceed and prepare. Terminal spotted. Upload me and prepare to defend. Such a weird room. This will take a moment. There used to be. I got rid of it. There used to be a, a, a secret underneath here, where you could actually go inside this little room, this little pyramid. Hello, welcome to my crazy internet thing that I do sometimes. Not gonna revive them. I mean, it's a pet, but I 
don't like nullifiers. Go away. You are my least favorite kind of enemy. Canyons kind of fall off after a while. You can you can build them to be really dangerous, but you've got to invest forma into them just like everything else. And most people don't bother. Um, there's also a, a, a NPC in Fortuna that'll let you build custom companions, and I think some of those can get really powerful. I've never messed with it, though, so I don't know. Part of why you're getting wrecked, not for me enough? Probably. I mean, when I get out of here, I'll show you um, what I've got on Titania right now, because she's been formed quite a few times. Um, there's also the... You've got to build your frame for survivability and your weapon for killing. And I got to bat the two. Still working on it. Continue to defend. What is the point of this? Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. A ton of mods that make things easier, but they're all in areas that just destroy your frame. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I mean, and and then you can also just like do public lobbies helps a lot. And you can always you can always let me know, and we'll go do it together. You know, and, and, I, and I understand, like, believe me, I understand not wanting to do public lobbies because you, other people, but nobody talks to each other <laughs> in these. You just do what you're supposed to do. And that's it. And, and you can always just not, you just not chat with people. Like, I have voice turned off in here and, <clears throat> and I never turn it on. I want to talk to people, you know, we use Discord or whatever. I was wanting to try to get through Mott sometime today, still asleep right now. Yeah, she mentioned that to me too at some point, and that's fine. <coughs> I have nothing going on today, I just... Mostly I decided to try to test if my if my computer would do single PC streaming again if I changed a few things. And it does seem to be working. But yeah, so this is this is what I have for Titania right now. And you can see I've formed her four times. So far. I've also unlocked the Exilus slot. But the biggest thing is if we go through here, so Reduces damage by 24% when airborne. Reduces damage by 12% when airborne. Uh, reduces damage by 20% when airborne. So, like, I have a ton of reduces damage when airborne mods. And they fixed it, so Razor Wing does count as airborne. And then, of course, I'm using primed mods and umbral mods where I can too, which is also really going to help. And everything is maxed out, which I had to form on her four times to be able to do that. And then I have some, some you know, high-ranked arcanes, um, which I don't think you have access to these yet because these are from the Zaraman. Like adaptation is another good mod to get. Umbral mods. Umbral mods are from the sacrifice quest. Just you do the quest and you will get those. For the pixie, for the pixies, I've formed these twice, 
and you can see that like it's built for corrosive damage. And then I've got Galvanized Diffusion on here, which is a really cool mod. I don't know that Galvanized Shot really helps so much, but I'll leave it on. Reading on the wiki, there are only a few of them that actually draw from that. There are others that draw from other things. The, there's only five Umbral mods in the game. I think. That's not right. Oh, because the other ones are... Um, okay. Yeah, so there's, there's three Umbral mods. Umbral Fiber, Umbral Intensify, and Umbral Vitality. But the, the nice thing with these is that they boost each other, so when you have two of them, both of them get stronger, and if you have all three, then all three of them get a lot stronger. The other ones are called Sacrificial, and there's two of those, and those are for melee weapons. And that's it. Like, I don't think there's other Umbral-type mods in the game. Could be. Sounds right. Yeah, there, and you get all of them from doing the quest. You will, you will just get them all. They are unranked when you get them. So you have to rank them, and they're expensive to rank, <laughs> believe me. Um, but it's, it's completely doable. It just takes time. The Umbra mods can only be acquired through the Sacrifice quest or after completing a quest from Cephalon Samaris. Oh, they added that. Yeah, so there's only the five. <clears throat> Next step is going through the quests. Yeah. <clears throat> quests are going to help, because you get, you get some good stuff from the quests. Um, and it'll also, when you unlock... Um, so you, you, you do the quests, you'll unlock your Necromech. You'll unlock the Zaraman. Um, you can unlock Archon Hunts, which will let you get a hold of these guys which really, really helps. Um, you can always hunt liches, too, because that'll get you stuff like this pistol that I've got here. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, we're doing that sortie. <laughs> I get distracted. Armin. I actually need to go and, and do quests on there. Oh, wait, hold on. Fuck. Oh, well. This is augmented shields. I was going to switch to magnetic damage because it wrecks shields a lot better, but yeah, it's fine. Hey, look, somebody has the new lander. Oh yeah, you'll also unlock Kyle's stuff, which I refuse to do because it's all stealth-based. But you can get, you can apparently get good stuff from him. Somebody was saying that earlier. Yeah, these guys are going to be... Anky as fuck. Where the hell is everybody? Missed what you were talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Access to building Necromech and three Archon Crystals from the Fight Cancer event. Don't think you can use them yet. Yeah, you need the you need the segment. <clears throat> you need the uh the the helmet segment to be able to use them. 
which you get from... Where do you get them from? I don't remember. One of the quests. From stealth quests. Oh, yeah. If you keep doing the... Uh, you do veil, the Veilbreaker quest, you'll get access to the Cal Grenier quest missions. Missions. Um, which I refuse to do because they're stealth-based. So. And you can't, like, you're playing as a Grenier, so you can't even use, like, Avara. Some people like them, but generally the community just hates them because there's, like, there's, like, two maps, and they're all the same. And they take forever to get through. What I've heard. How many Christmas you guys are tanky today? Make learning the stealth options pretty easy. Yeah, that's probably why it's it's a limited number of maps. Because then you can actually learn what the paths are that you can take and how things are in and all that crap, but I don't know. I don't like stealth. Get ready for a capsule. Ooh, Hexon. I need that stuff. Something tells me that's electrifying. Now that you seem to mind. <laughs> Mirage just blows himself up. I've delivered another life support capsule. There is a little story for the sortie too. Um I'm just not reading it. kind of tells you why what and what's going on and background kind of cool Raj is one of the quests right now something about decoding a poem in the inbox is that Mirage it might be Limbo. Do you remember what the name of the quest is? I don't remember Mirage coming from a quest, although I could be wrong. Would you stop running away? Secret message. Yeah, that might be her. Mirage is one of those frames that I I find difficult to use. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't make sense for me. Oh no, not the riddle. All of them. I mean, like, Titania's not too bad. The controls are a little funky, but... It's mostly just fly around and murder shit. Tanya Mage, she's leveled up a bit. Love that she looks like a Flygon from Pokemon. It's not one that I'm familiar with. Also, it depends on what skin you have on her. I have one of the alternate skins. Uh, well, and plus I'm using the Prime version. 
So that's a different look too. Pick on Discord to look at later. Yeah, that works. It works. Murder. How much time do we have left? Three, four minutes? That was stuck in the ceiling. Oh, I don't... Did you see um, the patch notes for one of the recent patches? I think it was the most recent one. They've changed it so that sentient cores can now be picked up with vacuum instead of having to actually run over to them and, and touch them. Which is really nice. On my void damage, that's why it's taking longer to kill everything. Jesus Christ, it's like being on the steel path again. How tanky these guys are. I really should- I should have switched my gun over to magnetic. Oh well. Don't read patch notes, figure far enough behind that most of them don't affect me much. They... They do changes to some of the early game stuff, and, and sometimes they change warframes. Two is the other thing. Jesus. Oh, thank you. Somebody busted the pipe when I was right underneath it. Oh, and the pet, too. <laughs> oh, we can go level up Octavia Prime, too. And she finished building earlier today. Might be fun. Finish the sortie first. Need health? Eat your pet. Cook it first. <laughs> well, not my pet. My pet's robotic. That's usually extraction, but I don't think it'll be in this one, because I think it'll just exit us in 30 seconds. But Octavia Prime should probably work on learning her. Sure, she's pretty good. She's apparently very, very difficult to play well, but if you can manage it, um, then yeah, she's really effective. And, um, well, the other, the other thing that always causes a problem is that she's rhythm-based. And what rhythm, what the rhythm is depends on what you set the soma chord to, or whatever, or her mana chord. Oh, okay, it does extract us. Yeah, and then sometimes it glitches. I want to get good with Vambuin too. Some abilities that make defenses pretty easy. Do I have him? I don't remember if I have him or not. I have to go look.
1% damage taken. The Nightwave frame. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, then I do have him. I just probably haven't played him that much. Could we not? Guys, I hate when you guys do that. Yeah, this guy. Deadly traps can zap, imprison, and dimensionally crush enemies. Uh, yeah, roller drone, mines, beacon that causes an, uh, calls in a devastating laser artillery strike. Questions from where? Payment field to capture enemies, suspending them in stasis, stripping their armor. Yeah, I, I've seen people using him. Um, I, I've seen people using him for for defense missions, and and it's very effective. I just don't like how the skin looks. Really. That looks like an Elden Ring enemy. What is that? That's kind of cool, though, with the things on it. That looks like a Grenier. Tank engine. I like that one. Anyway, yeah, I was working on um, leveling her up, which actually I need to sell that one. Her soul frame. <laughs> Just Prime, Octavia Prime, and then my regular Octavia. What skin do I have on? Yestra skin. Hmm. I've seen people using her animation set on other frames and it always looks funny. I didn't fail the mission. We weren't even in a mission. Like the judges from Final Fantasy XII? That's not one that I've played. Alright, anyway, let's do this last mission. It is assassination. We just go kill this fucker. So stop talking at me all the time. I love when people like trick out the Lasat lander, right? Like it's the default lander, it's the one that you start the game with, but then they like buy new skins for it and they get all the custom colors on it. <laughs> it's like you're still basically driving just some generic Ford. Yeah, uh, fuck, where the fuck? The fuck? What? What the hell? What the? How the? Oh, I went the wrong way. Oldie but a goodie. He's gonna be dead before I get to him. <laughs> I freaking lost. Stay 
focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Walkers incoming. We still managed to beat one of the other players here. <laughs> All right, let's see. We get some good. Resource drop chance booster. Eh. Strange boss to put in a high level sortie. They they do level up the boss. Like the whole the whole mission is is level the whole mission's level is boosted for the sortie. But yeah, most of these bosses are just like murder. People complain when they because we I had one that was the the infested boss with the tentacles that comes up. People were bitching about it. Because I hate that boss, but. Resource drop chance boot. Meh. Hate to have to do jackal mechanics. It's not too bad. I've, I've done the jackal before. It's It's fine. The one that sucks is the one that you do as part of uh, Veilbreaker. No, the new war. That's the one that sucks. Always a pleasure. It's time for anyway, let's do these. Yes, yeah, so you can get disarmed. I've I've, <laughs> I've had it happen where I'm playing Titania, and one of these guys will disarm me, but they can't take your exalted weapons. <coughs> they can't take your exalted weapons. So I still have my Pixias, but there's the little marker on the ground. And I fly over to it, and I'm like, that's my shotgun. Where's my shotgun laying on the ground? Okay, I have that soma cord. Oh, you're the... We have another Titania in the mission. That's a weird place for you to be standing. He's dead. I mean, I do want this. Oh, there's a courier? Grenier are so easy to merc though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually have the sit emote, I don't think. I'd have to go look, but I don't think I have it.
find out. Oh. Kura? 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 They're like background, they're like lore information that you can, that you can get. Can I have my mouse back please? Thank you. Exit. Thing to learn about eventually, so I wasn't gonna ask. They are they're hidden in every mission. Like they're they're hidden in missions, like from the get from the start of the game. They're just really hard to find and they're super rare. Um but they're they're in here somewhere and I don't know where they are. I've never actually found them. Because these are the cephalon fragments that you find. Um, that you can find scattered around. All the different relics. Man, there's a lot of them that I just don't have. Look at that. These are these are all got to be vaulted relics. Mod factions, maybe? Affiliated. Oh, these are just the critters. I haven't been scanning the armor. I don't know, you'd think it'd be in here, but... Hmm. I don't know, I'd have to look up where they are, I think. Because I don't know. I didn't knew. That it was secret mess, I think. Hidden messages, maybe? Because, yeah, that's Mirage. Not a replayable quest. That's a new button. Oh my god. There's a clear active quest button. And it gets rid of it. Oh, thank god. Run to the bathroom. That's fine. I actually need to go run to the bathroom myself. Button, and I'm going to be right back.
Or just wonders, what are you talking about? Yeah, no worries. If you want help with anything, eat too, just let me know. More than happy to do so, since I'm probably just going to be doing these syndicates, and then I got two of them left. And then, um... I don't know. I don't know what I want to do after that. Do something. A well-timed jump when prompted by a glow around your warframe allows for recovery. I have literally never seen that glow that they're talking about. I don't know if these defense missions spawn medallions. Doesn't seem like they do. At least I've never found one in one. I've also never started a defense mission from the beginning. A syndicate defense mission from the beginning. I always get pulled into somebody else's. Dabs awake, just not moving around yet? Nah, that's fine. I know. It, it always takes me a bit to wake up, too. <laughs> not, I'm not the most pleasant of person right when I first wake up. Was a, that was a trick that I did when I was driving over the road as I would wake up at like 2 a.m. Because then by the time I was actually had to interact with people, you know, I'd been up for four or five hours <laughs> and all my grumpy had gone away. I think that only counts my time, though. Wanted to see what the mission time was. But I think it only counts mine. have to change my mana core tone. I don't know. Might be okay, because it's not... I don't know. Might be worth doing just anyway. You, you can build custom songs for the mana core, and the current one that I have set right now is another one bites the dust. And the reason I did that is because it has a very distinct rhythm. And you get bonuses and stuff. Or the, the rest of your squad gets bonuses when Octavia... If you can do stuff on Octavia's rhythm. And like the one that they have... It's kind of hard to tell what the rhythm is. So I tried to, I wanted to use something that was, you know, iconic and recognizable and had a pretty predictable and regular rhythm. But Twitch might get 
crabby about it. I don't know, because it, it, it's not the song. Like, it's, it's, it's the rhythm. But it's not the actual song. No, I guess we can just try it and see what happens. Worst case scenario, I get a copyright strike. It'd be my first one ever, so. Who cares? But also just not use Octavia, and then we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Bink. Ah, they do spawn them. Here's one right here. Boop. Apparently it's the only one on the map, though. Unless, I mean, I guess whoever, um, the, the host there picked up the other ones. Actually, probably ran around the map picking up datums and then started the mission. That would be the way that I would do it. It does kind of suck for anybody that joins after, but... I've said I'm not really doing this for the... for the standing. Although the standing is nice, I'm mostly doing this for the Nightwave. I want the Umbra Forma. I would like to be able to form on one of my, um, my weapons. Somebody else is shooting at him, too. <laughs> Three ways remaining. Those guardian ex eximus units—they think they're so—they they, they think they're so clever with their floaty shields floating around them that completely negates all damage if you happen to hit it. But they forgot that there's gaps in it. <clears throat> And it doesn't cover their top. <laughs> Get above them and shoot straight down. <clears throat> the convergence. I want the focus. Okay. Focus you, Marcias. No, oh, see, I kind of like not having a camera on because that means I can make silly faces and nobody can see it. Should be the last wave.
Yeah, see, if you can do it on beat, like, if you crouch on beat, you'll go invisible. Um, if you fire on beat, you get a fire rate increase or a reload increase, one of the two. Um, and then I forget what the other bonuses are. Octavia. Octavia is one of those frames that's... It's it's tricky to play, but it's even trickier to have as a member of your squad. Would you die? Nah, <laughs> killed you before you got your shields up. Odd. Free endo. Where'd it go? Oh, I guess it died. The razor fly must have killed it. Have my cursor, please. Thank you. Oh, you're the one who's using Octavia. You've got Titania's Glyph, but you're playing Octavia. Gara Prime makes me angry. Here, I'll show you why it makes me angry. This is why it makes me angry. I have Gar Prime Chassis, Gar Prime Neuroptics, Gar Prime Systems. I, I don't have the main blueprint. I don't have the actual blueprint that you need to be able to take those three items and cram them together. It makes, it makes me angry. You know, and like I've got relics for, her, for the rest of her stuff too. You know, systems, and there's, and there's neuroptics, and there's, uh, oh, there's more neuroptics, uh, more systems, you know. I just don't have the main blueprint, and I've opened so many relics. Yes, you do. <coughs> I have opened so many goddamn relics. Nothing. Nothing. Because it comes out of these three relics. But they're but all of them, it's the rare. The top rare one. Which it's so hard to get. <laughs> You just let it. Oh, it shows you where they drop from. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that relic is vaulted. That relic is vaulted. So this one is still available, and you can get it, like, all over the place, including nodes that I don't know about yet, like on Pluto and Vale. Um which I probably just haven't gotten. It just hasn't dropped yet. But I just sold. Her. <sighs> anyway. All right, we gotta do one more syndicate. Let me get that night wave done. Um, oh, we could do the spy here for still Meridian. A 
Grenier, which sucks, but I think we only need to actually successfully extract one data to successfully end the mission. Swoom. Alright, you stay here. You stay here. Data vaults and retrieve highly sensitive enemy information. Okay. Now, a lot of people are depending on you to get this done. Yes, which is why you guys are gonna wait at the entrance. I don't think that the that the NPCs that come with you can set off the alarms. Um yeah, see, like, right there, that. We gotta watch out for. Be on the lookout for increased security measures. Because if you touch those, they will zap you, and they'll drain your energy. If they, they drain your shield, they drain your energy. But what makes them the most dangerous is that when you break them, they do an electrical pulse that damages everything around them. And the Grenier have these sensor drones if there's any in this mission the Grenier have these sensor drones that if you damage them in the s at, at all they set off the alarm usually one in this room yeah those things if you damage those things at all and don't kill them they set off the alarm There's all kinds of different paths you can use to get through these. Stay focused. Which is nice, but I just do it the easy way. Could you not slow me down, Jack? Off. Now that we know that we can just stealth kill them, that's nice. We got one over there and one over here. We'll go do B first. Arc trap. Yeah, see, like, that guy just took a bunch of damage. And the out here, it doesn't make any difference. But in the actual vault room, it, it they'll set off the alarms. Okay, this is this room, but we should go in right here. Ah, you stop stuttering, please. Excellent work. A clean extraction with no alarms. Out here? No. That was an exit, just. Oh, there's a way you can get in here from above. Oh, I see. Okay. Like I said, there's all, there's all kinds of different paths to do most. Most of these rooms have multiple paths. The trick is that you just, you have to do them. You have to do the room enough to 
learn what those paths are, and then you have to figure out which one works the best for you. And kind of your play style and your um, your your build. Because like for for this build for Avara, it's super easy because I just walk straight through because I don't set off. I don't you know I can't get picked up by laser grids and stuff. I was trying to do this with Titania, it would be, I'd be using completely different strategies. Um, a lot more murder. <laughs> <laughs> but it would also be, a, there's some of the rooms that, it's actually, that are actually a lot easier to do with Titania. Because you can just fly. Um, and yeah, you can bullet jump with Avara, but bullet jumping breaks your, breaks Prowl. Double jumping doesn't, which is thing. Thought that was weird. Bad. Oh, that's an organ cell. Oh, it's a plastic. Okay, I don't, I don't care about that. Last one. The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Uh, there's two of you. Why are there two of you? And there are Eximus too. You can't bump into these guys either, or they set off the alarm. Excuse me, sir. I just need to use this real quick. Yeah, with how bloody sensitive those things are, I'm surprised they don't get set off with when you uh, pickpocket them. <laughs> you think they would, but I guess the pickpocket isn't something that's uh, ooh, an alien isn't something that's uh, controllable. Like you can't turn it off. It's just a passive thing that happens. So maybe that's why it doesn't. Now we can just leave and it doesn't matter. I still like to do it like full stealth where they don't even... They don't see you coming, they don't see you going, nothing. And they just go, wait, what happened to the data? Why is the data gone? Why has all the data gone? It'll be the last of the Nightwave ones that we need to do, and then we can go probably go work on those Zaraman, because there's I need resources from there to build some stuff. Or I can go level stuff. Or I could go eat lunch. Probably go eat lunch. If we're being. We're done. Sal, baby. It's all about knowing who you are and not giving a damn. 
Uh, Revenant Prime or Optics? That's nice. I have Revenant already. But it's still pretty nice. Me <laughs> points with <laughs> Steel Meridian and Red Veil. <laughs> uh. Anyway, now we can go in here and we can pull this up. And it's probably going to be the fishing one. No, it's Cephalon Samaris' scans. The, it's, it's kind of annoying because like I would love to be able to do this one, but I don't have access to the Profit Taker. Because that requires you to max out your standing with Solaris United. And that's not something that I'm going to be able to do in the next, you know, one day, six hours. And this one, I just have never found a sabotage mission where you can actually search through the map. Because you, you they're always just like chew through them as fast as possible. But it's fine because you don't you don't have to do every single one of them to max out your uh, your act. And I'm only trying to get here anyway. You know, I don't I don't really care about that one. Like I already have that one. Um, that actually, and more form is always nice too. I think, okay, yeah, I did just get some more credits. We all, you always need this stuff. Always need it. They have it. Yeah. I don't have enough. Which, those are nice too. right now that's all from me that back that back all right so i think the plan then um i'm going to go take a break i'm going to get some lunch Eat some food. Um, probably be back later on. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep streaming. I'm, I'm going to take a look at this and see how it looked. But it's just about two hours, which is pretty typical for my stream times anyway. So, But I want to go get some lunch. So, uh, Thank you for hanging out with me. I always appreciate it. I will uh, see you later. I don't have my end screen set up right. But anyway. Bye. Ah.